Hey, it's Lady Antebellum, Hillary, Charles, and Dave. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Happy New Year. Thank you. You guys really know how to kick off a new year. First of all, What If I Never Get Over You is sitting just inside the top five. You guys are moving so close to number one. You guys got to be psyched about that song. We are. You know, this song, um, we felt it was such a great kind of introduction to the rest of this record and, and what we really wanted to say. As a band, it's been a while since we've done a, a long kind of duet back and forth like this. And, and for it to, to be working its way up the chart, um, you know, the song came out in May and it's it's just been on this steady journey, and, and we're so excited, and we're so appreciative to, to everyone in our team, at our record label, everyone at Country Radio. Thank you. Thank you for the, the support. And besides that, on uh, just on Friday, you guys announced your Ocean 2020 tour with Jake Owen and Maddie and Tay. Yeah, we are so so fired up for that. We made a little funny video, too, to, uh, to announce it with us doing karaoke with both of them, but it, it's going to be a fun summer. I mean, we've been wanting to tour with Jake for a number of years and known him for a long time. So thrilled to have him and Maddie and Tay and, and, you know, to be touring out on this new record too. I mean, we obviously will be playing all the songs that people know us for and we'll make it a big party, but we definitely are going to hit a couple of these songs from the new record. Like, you know, what if I never get over you and, um, you know, ocean and some of these that that have a little more deeper lyrical content too. So it's going to be a fun night. We shouldn't downplay how funny that video was. You guys were all at Santa's pub in Nashville and you guys were singing karaoke and the songs you chose were amazing. Chumba Wumba, Tub Dumper was great. <laughs> we had no fun making that, if you can tell. <laughs> it looked like a good time. I also want to mention at your CMA Award performers with Halsey, that was the most incredible performance of the night. Oh, wow. Well, thanks for saying that. Well, you, well, you know, it was funny when they, uh, you know, the CMAs had that idea, you know, because obviously we wanted to perform our, our thing, What If I Never Get Over You, and they said, you know, Halsey is wanting to perform on the award show. I think it's a really cool guy to put it together. And we heard Graveyard, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this lyrically, like, the stars have aligned. That these two songs just work so well together. You know, if it was like a dance number, it would have been silly and not made any sense. But it's a very deep, dark song. And uh, I don't know, it just it really came together so magical, and we're so proud of it. I was sitting there with my co-host, Tim, and we just looked at each other like this. I, it was amazing. It was a perfect collaboration. Wow. Thank you. So busy, busy year for you guys. What if I never get over you? Like I said, almost at number one. Ocean w- was released in November, debuted at number one on iTunes, all genre, and the country charts, which is awesome, and the tour. Lady A playing the Hollywood Bowl on May 30th. Thank you guys so much for your time. Mornings with Angie. In the morning. Every morning. Go Country 105.